In this technique, I'll show you how to use the transparency of an object as the basis for selecting it. It turns out that Photoshop keeps track of the opacity of all the pixels on a layer as you paint or composite artwork. This makes it easy to load objects on layers as a selection. Let's say you wanted to select this orange bar long after it had been created to perhaps move it to a different location or scale or transform it. A common tendency is to reach for the marquee tools to try and select it. Don't! Since it sits by itself on a transparent layer, you can just as easily load the transparency mask for the layer as a selection. Here's how to do this. Choose Select, Load Selection. And it's called Orange Bar Transparency in this case, named after the layer itself. Click OK, and this loads the opaque object as a selection. A faster way to select the objects in a transparent layer is to simply command or control click the layer thumbnail in the layers palette itself. Here I command or control click the boat art. Then I can hold down the shift key and command or control click objects in other transparent layers to select them as well. I use this technique a lot when I want to combine selections onto one layer. So the idea is that you can very easily select objects on a transparent background by command or control clicking the thumbnail to load the shapes as a transparency mask.